Hello everyone, this is Paul with Jones and Four Tools, live from the JFT studio. Today, we are reviewing the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Automotive Radiator Pressure Test Kit. Very cool, 16 pieces. All right, uh, let's see, part number 63862. Uh, let's see. Do we want to read this stuff? Anyway, here's the writing. Uh, testing pressures up to 30 PSI. Most radiator caps are 15. Um, large volume pump, yada yada. Here's the measurements. The hose is 10 and a half inches long. Let's look on the back. Same information. Yada yada. Alright. Here we go. Here's the case comes in blow mold, right? Where you see these. And here's the kit. All right. So let me tell you a little backstory. Um, every time I have a vehicle that's leaking coolant, in the past, I have gone to uh, Advanced Auto, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, whatever, and, and got one of their kits like something similar to this. And uh, basically... You, you pay the money for the kit. They let you use it. And when you're done, you bring it back. It, it's a loaner tool. Um, but if you don't bring it back, they already have the money. So when you do bring it back, they re, re, they refund you the, mon the money in full. So it's a pretty great deal. Uh, but I got tired of going there every time I had a, a issue that concerned the coolant. Um, because I want a kit here where I can look for... Uh, uh, a radiator leak or a, a radiator hose or a blown head gasket. The thing about this kit, um, a lot of a lot of times when you're running a vehicle, the leak is so small at first that it's hard to determine where the leak is coming from. You usually start out by smelling some coolant, and uh, and that's what happened on our uh, uh, 2004 GM, GMC Yukon. About six months ago, I had a big problem where my um, water pump was leaking, and uh, that's. And then I went and got the kit and um, uh, used it and returned the kit. But lately, that same vehicle is having a another leak somewhere. I could barely smell the coolant. So I said, you know what? I'm going to spend the money and I'm going to get the kit. And and here it is. This kit uh, was. $89, um, but I was able to get it for 20% off. Pretty good deal. Um, several years ago, when I first noticed this, this kit, um, I believe it was on sale for $59, but I missed my chance. Um, but anyway, uh, so let me show you how it works. On, on, on the Yukon, this is the size it used. And on the GMC Yukon, um, uh, you don't have a radiator cap. It has a, a, um, a see-through container that holds the coolant. And um, so what you do is you take the, the lid off. Um, you put this to replace it. You screw it down just like you do your, your radiator cap. And then you get out your pump, which is right here in this kit. And... This is sitting on your, your radiator or your, your container. And all you do, pull this back, bada boom, bada bing. It's plugged in, all right? Take your pump. Now, it ain't a whole pressure because it's, it's not on nothing. But you just pull it back and, oh, there, <laughs> I just made a mess from some coolant that was left over. Um, you just pull this back and you pump it in, until it reads 15 here. And then, then you just let it sit. And what I do is, once I, I get it up to the desired um, uh, the desired amount of uh, PSIs, I let it sit for 10 minutes. Because what I'm doing is, if I set it on 15, and then there's and the system fills up with, with, with compressed air, um, the leak will start to, to form or it, it, it will start leaking fluid wherever the, the weak spot is. And as it as it does that, the the PSIs will drop from 15 down to 14 or, or 13. That way you know you have a leak. 
Um, and also too, when you you take your flashlight and you start searching all the different areas where water could come out, your radiator, your your uh, radiator hoses, your your water pump, um, uh, your uh, what are those lines going to your heater core? There's two lines there. Um, a lot of times, if it ain't your water pump, it's it's old uh, radiator hose clamps, and uh, they they cut into the um, the hose, and then they start leaking from there. But anyway, this the, this kit right here is an outstanding kit. It it works time and time again. Um, <coughs> there's other kits out there, but a majority of them are more expensive and. Uh, this one for the price, I mean, it's outstanding. It has several different sizes for the different makes and models. Um, you know, you got um, like Toyota, Ford, um, Chrysler, uh, Dodge, Zuzu, whatever. Um, this kit pretty much fits every uh, different car out there. Um, but there's some, it probably won't. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to beat around the bush. But the thing with this kit is that it has an universal adapter, right? And uh, and here, uh, see, there, there's there's three different sizes. And what it does, let's see here. So when you hook this on, let's see if I can do it. La da da. What am I? I'm screwing up or messing up. There we go. All right. So you stick this on, and and these and these clips right here, they they hook on to the um, to the radiator, and then you're able to put your connection on here for the pump and make it work. So these are universals are pretty cool. They work out when, in a rare case, that these ones don't work. But anyway, listen, uh, here at Johnson for Tools, we value your time. We're going to keep this video short. But we want to thank you for taking a little bit of your time out of your life to spend it with us. And, uh, and listen, hey, if you like this type of content, do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. And let us know what you think about this Pittsburgh Automotive uh, Radiator Pressure Test Kit. Is it worth the money? Does it have enough pieces? Is the quality there? You know, uh, I've already showed you it, talked to you about it, gave you my impression. I love it. I think it's worth it. But I want to know what you think. And if you have a, a an alternative for this that's budget-minded, let us know. Of course, there's a Snap-on and a Mac hose, you know, but those are three to $400. So anyway, just let us know. But thanks again, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a good day.